How's it going, world? Uh, welcome to today's episode of, I don't know what today is. Um, it's 4th of July, uh, so happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, you know, so I just wanted to update everybody. So since my last video, I've had a lot of time. I've been, I've, I've been thinking about it for a while. But, uh, but it's come to the point where I decided to prolong my MCAT date. Uh, I'm still taking the course and I'm still going through that, but I decided to, um, you know, prolong my MCAT date and take it in January. So I was going to take it the, you know, the second to last time of the, the application season, which would be September 18th. But I really didn't know if you're able to submit your applications and then uh, have them wait for your MCAT score to get in because... October 15th is, or October 16th is when most of the deadlines are, but if I take it in September 18th, then I wouldn't get my score back till the 23rd. So I asked around, wasn't really sure, got mixed messages. Uh, most people said that they didn't really know, but uh, if you guys know, definitely uh, add that in the comments, whether they'll hold off on your application, uh, or whether you're able to submit it, and then they'll, um, you know, take a look at it after they get your score back in. Um, so that's that. Uh, but I've been, you know, studying again, I'm still working and stuff like that. And that's going pretty well. But, uh, but I compared to last year where I kind of was like struggling, like looking for time off. Uh, then once I did, I immersed myself in the MCAT and essentially like lived and breathed the MCAT for, you know, a couple of months. I felt like I got burned out. And uh, then it kind of took me like a couple of months to kind of recover from that. And, you know, with other things, it's, you know, I felt like I was off my game and it took me a while to get back to, you know, feeling like my old self. And so with that, I decided to, uh, you know, not go through that situation again because um, I felt like me being burned out, even though I did improve, I felt like I, I could have did better because if I would have given myself more time instead of just trying to like you know, struggle and, you know, do these crazy, you know, work hours or study hours, um, with it, which nothing, nothing against it. It's just, um, it just didn't work for me, obviously. And so, um, and so with that, I am deciding to make a podcast. Um, one of the reasons is because, uh, you know, I got like the Kaplan audiobook uh, off of audio audible. And I really like that because it's more of a conversational thing compared to this other audio book that I had last year uh, from Audible, where it was more of like, I mean, it was content review. They were going over all the concepts, but it was like they were reading from like their book, essentially. Like uh, it was kind of like an audio learn thing. And uh, compared to the the MCAT Kaplan one, where it's, uh, you know, you have the material and you could go over it, but there's also relatable concepts. And so uh, so looking around, the only thing that's available is the, uh, the MCAT, um, podcast with uh, Dr. Ryan Gray, and he does it with a next step test prep, and uh, and I really like that. Um, you know, one of the big things about it is um, they they go over questions and stuff, but they also go over some of the content or some of the stuff that you need to know. I feel like it, it's um, you know, it, it it does. You could tell that you know they're trying to improve their uh, you know, it's a it's a marketing tool for uh, next step test prep as well because it's a partnership, but. Um, they, I feel like they're not trying to sell us on anything, you know, in general, I've listened to about 93, uh, or like, you know, just about a hundred of their episodes. I think they're at a hundred. So just about a hundred of their episodes. And, um, you know, they, they label them pretty well. It's about 15 minutes and they're really, really good. And then from there, uh, you know, like I go on to the next one and I felt like I, I learned a lot from it. So, uh, so um, yeah, yeah. So as I like do all this recontent review and stuff, I kind of, you know, want to make a podcast about it because, uh, essentially the notion is if you're able to teach it, uh, to other people, then you have some level of mastery that, um, they otherwise wouldn't have if you're just going over, if you're just reading the book 20 million times. And so, uh, plus I, I want to cater to people that feel are in the same situation as me where they work or they drive. I drive. If I, if I work, I'm driving at least, you know, two to three hours a day, uh, for work. And so, uh, that's two to three hours that I, you know, lose without my day. And so if I'm working eight hours and then I have two to three hours of uh, travel time, then that's 11 hours. That's almost half my day gone. 
And uh, when you're studying, that's really, really tough. And so from that, um, I was talking to my girlfriend and everything. And, you know, we're going to she's she's kind of in the same situation I'm in. And, you know, it, it kind of just made it. It's a no brainer for me uh, because it's something that like I would use. That's something that she would use. And, you know, I'm pretty sure it's something that other people could use as well. And so uh, so at least in the next coming months or whatever, I hope to, you know, work on that. I think a 15, 15 minute episodes would be more of a conversation over the content. Uh, you know, I think a few of the things that like I want to explore just relating the core concepts to, you know, real life, because if you can relate them to real life, then you're able to uh, think about them in a different way and hopefully get those questions right uh, when you when you're asked those questions, because nobody knows what's going to be on your MCAT test. But if you're able to bridge the gap between like, how you relate relate to the information opposed to just, you know, remembering get rote memory. Um, you know, I feel like you'll it'll improve your test uh your test scores a little bit better. And so, um and so with that, you know, that's you know, hopefully everybody has a good fourth of July. Um you know, keep studying, keep trying to figure stuff out. Uh and yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. You know. Enjoy.